Hi everyone and welcome, welcome back to the last review of my chapter, The Age of Craftsmanship. No, I'm just fucking with you. Uh, to when we follow the stars for guidance. Yeah. Um, so this is going to be the last Swedish whiskey review I do now for quite a while. And it's going to be uh, the last from the Great Hittan whiskeys that was closed here in Sweden. And no, it's not Bergslagen, it's this one. Here, from the... Let's see if we can see there. Elvatten, which means fire water in Swedish. It is a Swedish independent bottler here in Sweden. They do mostly um, Scottish whiskey, done some American whiskies as well, and some rums, rum as well. So yeah, but this is a thing they did, a series they did um, from Grittitan, which was no is known as the Silent Swede series. So yeah, stay tuned, I'm gonna tell more about it. <laughs> And we're back, yeah, we're back, we're back on track, yeah. On um, the last review of Swiss Whiskey, as I said before, this one, this odd one, yeah. So, as I said before, it's from the Swedish uh, independent bottler, known as uh, Elvatten, Swedish Firewater. Or Svensk Elvatten, Swedish Firewater, yeah. Um, it's a serious uh, silent Swede they did. Uh, this one is a virgin French oak single cask whiskey. It is around uh, six years, six um, years, it is six and a half years, seven years, yeah. Um, it is just one bottle of 348 bottles, 61.9% um, ABV, so yeah, it's quite a lot of it, of the ABV in there. <laughs> yeah, no, this was uh, part of a six part series they did. Um, they had uh, this one, the Virgin Oak, Swedish Oak, uh, Sherry Cask. Brandy, uh, Champagne, Sartreness, and I think it was also Cognac. I think it was also as well. Cognac cask used. So yeah, six. Six. And resisted it. Um, there are still some available here in Sweden. I don't know if I'm going to catch another one. I would like to get another one of these though. <laughs> really good so yeah um we're gonna get to it right away and it's just as you know you should know uh swedish fire water you can actually or elvatten you can actually find them outside sweden they have um, in most of malt website you can actually find elvatten there you know with some of their releases still left there so yeah highly to yeah if you're interested i have been to a tasting we tried i think five or six of their Lineups, so not the, not these ones, but other Scottish whiskey brands. They had um, sold under their brand, and it was just really good. Especially a uh, Mortlac that just been uh, shared cask matured. It's really nice. So yeah, and there are just two people from um, Gothenburg who started this whole journey, and it's really cool what they've done. So yeah, share yours to you guys. And now I'm gonna get into the news. This is gonna quite maybe be a long one. Who knows? This video review yeah very honey honey and uh, like um, some kind of uh, citrus or uh, yeah very fresh uh, fresh and new baked uh, Something like a new baked bread or pastry as well. Ah, oh, it's really nice in the nose. Oh. Yeah. So I have one with the Swedish oak with them, and I have one with the French oak. So, virgin French oak. So it's gonna be, yeah, first time it's used, so. <coughs> Sorry, a lot of flavors to it smell there is also I don't know cinnamon sugary sugar and cinnamon mint peppermint we call it are fresh were nice but you know that the pastry that freshly baked pastry or dough from the pastry is really there mm. yeah Mm, really nice, uh, like custard or vanilla as well. 
I would like to say some like raisins, but no, like more like uh, grapes as well. Maybe some. Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit like cheese to it as well, like uh, blue cheese or something. I don't really know if I'm really there on my that one because I'm real hard time finding cheese. <laughs> She smells on my whiskies, but yeah, I would say that's some kind of a she's like a brie, maybe because it's French brie, you know. Yeah, and be, yeah, yeah, it's really nice, really nice. So, yeah, I'm getting into the palette now. Cheers, let's go. Mm. Sixty-one point nine percent ABV. Oh, oh what nice. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I get a lot of fruit notes. Tropical. Mm. Yeah, definitely like dried up, dried fruits in there. Oh. Apricot, um, orange, apple, pear. Yeah. Honey, sweet, sugary, syrupy, oh, vanilla. Oh my god. I'm actually gonna try to put a little bit of water in it. You don't see me do that very often. Let's see what we can find. And shaky, shaky. Yeah, there's definitely a peppermint here as well. Mm. The wood, spice, spicy wood, a little spicy wood, but you know, spice, dry wood. Mm. But where is syrupy? Oh, sweet. Mm. Really nice. Wow. Oh, ho, 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 Mmm. This is gold. Mm. Yeah. yeah, citrus fruit, if I haven't said that. <coughs> mm. Ginger, bis biscuity, or yeah, pastry. But it's not that hard on the palate, on your, your throat and your palate, just because of the ABV. Mm, uh, very grassy as well. Um, yeah, and honey, yeah, it's just fantastic, good whiskey. <coughs> oh, this is really nice. And the finish is just there. You can still feel the um, the honey and the peppermint in the background, and uh, some uh, citrus fruits as well. Oh, so good, so fresh. Basically, it's like uh, Vix uh, honey drops. You try them. A little bit like reminds me a little bit with that with some peppermint as well. It's really fresh and really good. Mm. Yeah. As you might now understand, this is such a limited bottle. So, are you gonna find one? Probably <laughs> not here. In Probably not outside Sweden. But yeah, it is what it is. This with the um, great titan and all this. What happened with it? As I said on the last one I did. <coughs> so yeah, it's a shame what happened. But things goes the way to go sometimes, and now we just have to, yeah, bunker up, you know on uh, the last bottles that are remaining one day so yeah uh it's a really good whiskey and i can't say anymore actually it's just fantastic fantastic yeah you hear my voice right now i don't like this yeah not really but i had some sick days so this is on the first days i've been really good so i wanted to do the reviews so hopefully they have not 
affecting my palate too much, but it's really good stuff. Really good stuff. Um, yeah. If you're ever in Sweden, you see a bar have one of these. Seriously, try it as much as you can. It's so good. I haven't tried any of the other releases in uh, the Silent Swede court range, so I can't say much more about them. But this one, the French Oak one, is fantastic. So yeah, I'm gonna conclude that. And um, thank you everyone for yeah, bear with me this whole half of the year. <laughs> me just doing Swedish whiskies and some other ones as well with. Uh, seven highly recommended whiskies i did um, the fire whiskies for christmas challenge that andrew started in precise liquid and uh, my whiskey collection i did as well so yeah uh, next video will be a peated one with big p christmas edition so yeah and uh, yeah that one is probably gonna be released <laughs> before this one so yeah if you haven't seen that one i highly recommend you to do it yeah it's gonna be interesting trying those whiskeys. Hopefully, I can get too alcohol. You know, on too much alcohol because of that. So yeah, see you, and bye, and take care.